Blows as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sell to us? Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this we sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The Great Summer Army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trait. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest.
that a bottomless stomach, I see? Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Didn't your mummy say it was all right? Come, raise a cup and look! priest is in the church. used to lift stone. Solid wood. Are you in the midst of a conversion, Lee? Shall I steal the small cross for you as well? Lord Wigmund of Walden carries with him the blessings of our Lord and... <laughs> this priest's lies will not poison the Shire. We should leave.
Well struck. We made short work of Whitman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Let's go. Save it for... What do you think you're doing? What's wrong Hold with here. you? Nothing out of me. Nothing! Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains. Caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. 
I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. Oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. What did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Vienna used to be a smuggler, hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Galen told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Bjerna betrayed you. Are you certain? Leave betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, 
my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Leaf. You have betrayed me, Leaf. Soma, that's not true. A grown man should have a better grasp of his jealousy. It must not drive him to madness and destruction. But with you, Every one of our warriors, our slaughtered people, are dead because you could not be where I am now. I have only ever served you, Soma. I would never betray my clan, my family. I am a man of honor. And ambition. <clears throat> Wigman took you from us long before I ever raised my blade. Cleared a body. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Come on, I need a challenger! Camp, Eivor!
hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Send this. Ah! 
probably cowering within the monastery. Can't do this alone. Pagan had me it on a plate, and you dirty churls lost it for me. You die in agony, out. You can't kill me. of a good man never dies, but your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it! Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Turn to camp. Before I let go, burned his heap to the ground. We must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just. It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye.
Garland, what are you doing? We're at the mountain's peak, Soma. With room for one alone. So I claim this summit, Jarl's Corner. I claim Grand Bridge. You fucking rodent, Garlin. It was you. You let those Saxon insects into our home. You betrayed us. It was preordained, Soma. Like the sunset. Like the bird's flight. You coward. You let an innocent die in your place. You have your sibling in the blood spring at your mercy. How could you waste your family so easily? There is no river of blood deep enough to keep me from my destiny. Only one verse of this song remains. It is my destiny to rule. It is your destiny to die. All of you. We all have our one day. Bring <laughs> yourself from the mountaintop! Bring back to a place that isn't yours! Your prophecy, your life! You stand on the bodies of your... Put an arrow in the door. You stand on the bodies of your brethren. Price to pay for one so vile. I climbed to the peak of the mountain. To my. my destiny. Your vision took you as far as the mountain's peak, but there was only room for one to stand. I am the one standing. Please, Soma. My life in the lap of the gods.
You live. Sweet gods among us, Birna, you're alive. <laughs> Galen couldn't kill me. It is not my destiny. Get this Drenger back to the longboats. We're going home. Her wounds are severe, but not seeping. She will heal. I should have guessed it was Galen. If I had trusted my instincts, if I had dealt with all this alone, or discovered him sooner... Garlem deceived us all. He was a practiced liar. We killed the wrong warrior, Eivor. A terrible truth that tastes of soot and ashes. Do not think I blame you. I held a blade. The decision was my own. Now, I must explain myself to my people. The cost of war is always high, and victory can be sour. But you have your city back, and Wickman is dead. As may be all trust in me. After all, why should any trust me if I cannot trust my closest friends? It is easy to think so little of others, to harden against the world. It's more difficult to trust those around you. And does its difficulty make it more valuable? I think so. You're burdened with so much already. Do not let a serrated heart burden you too. Thank you for standing at my side in this. You have my oath and my arm in the battles to come. Eivor of the Raven Clan. Good. One day I may need them. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
greetings. I did. Put them right over there. Keep... We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. Not everything went as planned. Good people died. We have their oaths, but not their admiration. A pity. But we have what we need. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Granderbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it! Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me!
nothing for you here but death! Nothing of us! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Have mercy, friend, and you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia, newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! 
Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Chilbert, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you. Not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We'll make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. Safe travels. <laughs> 